Today, President Biden will talk about the response to the COVID-19 pandemic and the state of vaccinations. According to officials, the U.S. has administered the first dose of vaccines to more than 131 million Americans. The CDC says about 84.3 million people have been fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, there are still concerns surrounding the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It's been just over a week since it was paused, of course, that vaccine rollout after a handful of people develop, developed rare but serious blood clots. And now the company's executive vice president says the benefit of its COVID vaccine still outweigh any risks. I think it's important to underscore that not just with the vaccine, but with all our products, safety is the utmost importance. Uh, with respect to our specific vaccine, uh, we do have strong conviction in the benefit risk profile. So I would hope that at the end of this week that the population in general will feel more confident about taking a vaccine. A CDC advisory committee will meet Friday to talk about the pause and the next steps. And there's a new poll that's found Americans seem to be relaxing their COVID precautions. 61% of those surveyed said that they're still social distancing, but that's down six points from March and 13 points from February. 63% of people are wearing masks. That's the lowest rate though, since we've seen since July, 13% say they never wear a mask. Parents are expressing concerns this morning while we wait for the U.S. to start vaccinating children. The number of new infections in children continues to go up. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, over 88,000 new pediatric cases of COVID were reported last week. In fact, more than 20% of all the new cases last week were kids. More than 3.6 million kids have tested positive since the pandemic began.